Good morning. So, since and soar and ship, remove the ands and it becomes a different word. Just messing around with the autocorrect or, or not even trying to autocorrect and typing stuff and seeing it get changed or the autocorrect can't figure it out it got me thinking about these ads that have been disapproved. And the reason stated is sensitive events. And then below it says certificate required. And I've looked into this and as best I can tell that even if I got the certificate, I, I don't think it would change the sensitive events thing. And these are ads going on YouTube videos or YouTube channels of people who have similar like-minded views and beliefs like, like Russell Brand and such. And, and so I'm fairly certain that places where the ads are going, that the owner of the channel doesn't mind and the audience doesn't mind. They're actually looking for similar content. And so as far as a, a business's point of view, the advertising agent wanting to restrict this, it, it makes no sense from a financial standpoint because everybody involved would benefit it, unless the point is to squash differing opinions. And so I've had several of these sensitive events and I've tried changing the wording. I've tried different words and it's it's some, I was able to get them reapproved or approved by changing the wording. Others didn't matter what I put in the, the text, it, it would get disapproved. And this one, the word, the word ancestors, it seems like that. I tried half a dozen or more different variations and it seemed like some, for some reason, the word ancestors is sensitive or controversial. I assume it's, you know, racial kind of tension, that kind of thing, but it's, it's just, <sighs> It's hard to make sense of it all. And so here, here's just more. I'm just showing you all the ads that have been disapproved for sensitive events. And then this one, it's like food matters and, and caring for animals. And, I, you know, it's like it's almost like once once the content got flagged or this particular video got flagged as disapproved, no matter what I did to the wording, it 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 remained and unimproved and I just gave up and so a lot of these I completely gave up because I, I just knew based on the title and what I was talking about there was no chance and so this has me thinking of of ways to outsmart or you know bypass get around this atrocious behavior of trying to squash and silence and marginalize anyone who questions just questioning is is considered verboten under this system if I change the spelling of the word the search engine can't figure it out. They come up with like shipping and the meaning of the word soar and these other, the other results that are nowhere near, not even close, not even close to guessing. You know, the machine, the algorithm, the computer programming, they can't figure it out. They, they think it's all about shipping. And, and I'll see when I run the ad, if I try to run an ad with these words, like what happens if, if they figure it out or if it gets rejected or approved update so i uploaded the video and created an ad with the censorship as three words and it was disapproved got rejected labeled sensitive events so my best guess is there's a human being that reviews all ads there's probably not that many compared to say the the number of videos that get uploaded so I, i'm guessing it's manageable by human beings and at the same time i'm wondering like imagine that's my job like i have a list of verboten words or words that are considered too dangerous to be out there and i have to squash this stuff you know like ah oh, just sad i was also i was watching this nuremberg documentary and, and talked about how the germans are real good at keeping records of all their horrible deeds and, and it just had me thinking you know if this ever gets to some kind of a trial or a congressional hearing or a world court or something all these documents that you know google or whoever is going to have to produce of all these videos they've squashed the reasoning you know the, the databases the lists of all the words that are verboten or you can't say you know just like just it'll it's going to be a sad, it's sad now. And my hope is more and more people come to their senses or there's some whistleblowers that come out and say, hey, I've, this has been my job for the past year and a half to censor all this stuff and label it as misinformation. And I'm, I'm tired of it and I can't put up with it anymore. And it's wrong. And I'm going to do something about it. You know, that's my hope. So that's the update. It didn't work. I guess it still can get by the, the Google search algorithm. But as far as running an ad to try to reach more people, it, it didn't work. And another interesting thing is if I put these three words together, the search engine figures it out. The algorithm is smart enough to know what's going on. So even there, so a human being can look at this, figure it out what it means. 
but the computer, the algorithm, the software cannot. And I don't know how the back end works. There's eventually this, if there's enough hits of this, does it get bumped up to where a human being looks at it and then makes a decision or changes the algorithm? I would imagine it would. At the same time, you know, the search engine has millions or billions of, of videos and content being uploaded all the time. And so th there's no possible way that a human being can, can check all these, you know, so it's, I'm sure it's some kind of flagging system when it gets to a certain point, then the machine notifies a human being to check it. But for now, this, this works, you know, like I, I hoping, I'm hoping that anybody can look at these three words and figure out what's, what's being typed at the same time, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I just found this interesting you know, in this time of division and, and trying to squash, just questioning, can't even question anything. You know, how, how are we ever going to get to the truth or know what works or doesn't work if questioning isn't allowed? I mean, to me, that's that's bonkers. I, I, I can't see any way that that's good. You know, like where where is there a good outcome where questioning is no longer allowed? And to the point that people don't even know the questioning is being silenced, then it, it, it gives the official narrative or whatever is being told a, a false legitimacy to the point that nobody even knows they're being hoodwinked and they don't even think to check. And so whatever's being presented is more likely to be believed, even though there are a lot of people questioning it, they, it never gets to their attention because they never see it. It's being hidden in such a, a devious way. My hope is that someday soon, none of this nonsense will be necessary. At the same time right now that that's the way of the world and also has me wondering android is owned by the search engine they they have my phone they have my e they they store my email they i use their servers to manage my email because it, originally it was the only way i could i could get email that was free of spam they are really good at that and at the same time has me wondering you know if they're filtering my searches are they also filtering my emails you know on my phone they have access to my texts and they they filter you know what they consider to be spam both texts and phone calls you know but what else are they filtering are, are they denying me access to people you know if if people want to call me that are considered controversial or is that getting banned if i try to call certain people do i get put on a list and now now i can't make calls i'm banned from contacting anyone via my phone or text you know wh where where is the line when does it end how far does it go does anybody know even having a discussion about this is being squashed how, how do we know you know it's it's a sad and scary time that this is reality for me anyway i hope some of you out there are questioning this as well yeah my hope is we can start to shine the light on everything and ha have the kind of world where where questioning is is championed instead of ridiculed and criticized and we welcome all questioning as a, a quest for truth and for understanding and, and coming together so thanks for watching